Hello, today in this video I'm going to show you Shader View, a little app I made. Uh, you can download this off my website for free. It's also open source, the full source is available. Uh, here I've downloaded the 64 bit version. I'm just going to show you how to use it. I've extracted it here. Uh, it's a console based program. So when you open it here, you'll get a console. You can type in help to get all the list of commands, simple application to click help you view and develop shaders. Uh, so today I'm going to show you some of the key parts of this that I think make it a special shader viewer. So first of all, along with it, you can see in the folders here, we've got some effects and examples. So the first one I'm just going to show you a buffer example. So here it's doing motion blur by reading back to the buffer. So you can see here, uh, the shader view has, viewer has a bit of a custom shader syntax. You have vertex and fragment shaders in the same program. This makes it a lot easier to write, I think. You can just access the current buffer by doing buffer 0 or whatever buffer number you want to access. It supports any number of buffers. Um, one of the amazing things about this, if you look at the list of commands here, I know it is hard to read through all of them, but there is a capture command, captures images and videos. We're going to set it to 60 FPS, and so if we wanted to capture 2 seconds of video, we would do capture 120, 60 times 2 frames. One of the key features of this program is the ability to render out uh, videos using FFmpeg. In this video, I'm only going to show you a fraction of what this program can do. If you want full information, go to the README. So now I'm going to show you one of the key parts that I use this program for. So you can see this simple audio example um, just displays the audio frequencies as a sort of colored bar graph. It explains in the README what, the, what data is in the audio buffer. So there are also um, five different audio visualizers included with this. You can program your own audio visualizers with shaders. Uh, the source is available. Thank you for watching. I hope this program is useful to you.